Welcome to Dr. Piercy's Guessing Game Design Models for our Servlet Component version. In this video, we'll practice thinking before programming, and by doing that, we'll plan the components that we will need to build our guessing game using a servlet to handle the controller and view concerns. Here's a workflow style diagram of how our guessing game will work. First, we need to start the game, so on the server side, we'll initialize the game and we'll set up a random target. After doing so, we'll send over to the client a view that will include a form that will allow the player to enter their first guess. After the player enters the guess and clicks the submit button, a request will get back to the server where we will compare the guess with the target. If the guess is too low or too high, we'll display an appropriate message, and then we'll include a form that can get the next guess from the player. This will continue back and forth from client to the server, getting a new guess, comparing the guess with the target, until the guess is just right, in which case we'll send back a view that displays a congratulations message, along with the number of guesses that it took. Let's take a quick look at what the player will see with some simple wireframes. On the first guess view, we'll include a welcome message, some instructions, and an input form that will include a text box to get the guess and a button to submit the guess. Similarly, when a guess is incorrect, we'll include the welcome message again, instructions, and a message saying to guess higher or lower, along with the same input form. Finally, once they get the correct guess, We'll include in the view the welcome message or heading, a message of congratulations, and a link that will let them play again if they wish. So what do we need to build to accomplish this? In this version, where we're going to use a servlet as both the view and the controller, we're going to create a servlet component called game servlet that will take care of everything after the first guess. To initialize the game and set the random target and get the first guess, We'll make that the concern of our initial index.jsp page. So after the first guess is submitted, the game servlet will take over to perform all the comparisons with the target. It will have logic that will decide whether or not the guess is too low or too high or just right. And then the logic will determine which of the appropriate views should be sent back to the client. To model all of the numbers that we have in the game, we're going to use the game number class. The game number class will be able to store a value and have some methods that will help us set a random value when it's the target or increment its value, for instance, when it's the number of guesses. The game number class will be a model or helper class to be used when appropriate by our game servlet and our index.jsp. For more information about the concepts that you saw in this video, please visit the references shown here. This video was written, narrated, and produced by Dr. Craig A. Piercy. Background music is locally sourced by Jason Farnham from the YouTube Audio Collection. This has been a Piercy production.